Um, I'd like to welcome you to the Chef Throwdown. This is actually a uh, prelude to the My Time Women Show that's going to be in Hampton this weekend uh, on Saturday. <laughs> John Ashton, everybody. And I'd like to introduce you to John Ashton, who will be one of our chefs from Parade Magazine. Welcome, John. <laughs> Going against the Iron Chef, our own Chef Bob. <laughs> now I would tell you if it would have been fish and chips, you'd probably been a shoe in. Easy. But since I'm judging too, I'll go for the crab cake. So that being said, um, you have 30 minutes to prepare. Um, the three judges are here, and we are ready to go. And uh, so if you're ready, on your mark, get set, go. Oh, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. It takes about 10 minutes, so for 20 minutes we get to have a sing along. <laughs> I'm going to start the song, you carry on. You ready? I said, na, na, na. Na, 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 na. Come on, better than that. Na, 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 na. <laughs> oh, my gosh, we're so glad to be there. Okay, I'll tell you a little bit about my crab cake by Bob Starts is. I've gone with a small amount of Asian influence for mine. Yeah. We start with jumbo lump crab. If you get jumbo lump crab in the plastic container, it's fine. If you ever get it in a can or a tin, as we say across England, always soak it in milk first because you'll end up with a tinny flavour. You always want to use jumbo lump crab because you get nice big bites in there. What's going to make mine a little bit different today is normally the process for crab cakes would be to use some eggs in there, some mayonnaise, what we're used to. But that's really unhealthy and it's so yesterday. Oh, I'm Bob. No, seriously. Come on now, listen. I watched the, I watched the best of WWF Smack Talk. Smack Talk. Um, no, seriously, um, Bob's going to be using, using pink breadcrumbs on yours. Bob. Bob's going to be using breadcrumbs. Panko, is he? Panko. Panko is a Japanese breadcrumb. It's like a dried sourdough loaf and then they grate it. I'm going to be using a rice cracker. And do you, do you um, put yours in an egg wash? No. Um, you'll notice what I'm going to do is use egg whites. Always remember this at home. What you want to do is actually take the yolk away and just use the white. If you use the yolk, it's going to cause the bread to be soft because the fat in the yolk. And it's also going to cause it to not stick to the meat. So we'll show you that process. I better get cooking. Bob, do you want to tell them about yours? We're ready to eat some crab cakes.